Hello friends, welcome back to another episode by Engineering Today, and I hope you're all having a great time. From festive celebrations aboard the ISS, to SpaceX's new Starship static fire tests, and SpaceX's most classified secrets, today's video explores the latest updates in space exploration and technology. So let's get started. The holiday spirit has reached the stars, as NASA astronaut Sunita Williams and her crew bring festive cheer to the International Space Station. In a photo shared by NASA, Williams and astronaut Don Pettit are seen wearing Santa hats while chatting over a ham radio in the ISS's Columbus module. The festive atmosphere comes after a successful SpaceX Dragon capsule mission. On November 4th, the capsule launched from NASA's Kennedy Space Center, delivering 2,720 kilograms of supplies scientific tools, and holiday gifts. It docked at the ISS on November 5th, providing the crew with fresh ingredients for special meals and gifts to brighten their celebrations. Williams, along with astronaut Butch Wilmore, is making the most of the season. The crew plans to enjoy familiar traditions, share festive meals, and connect with family through video calls. For Williams, who calls the ISS her happy place, this period is about more than celebrations. Her days are packed with maintenance tasks, preparations for her return on the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft, and outreach efforts. In a recent session with students on Earth, she shared insights about living in space, including the challenges of simple tasks like drinking in microgravity. Originally set to return after an eight-day mission in June, William's stay was extended due to delays with Boeing's Starliner capsule. Her return is now scheduled for late March or April next year. On the other hand, SpaceX is moving closer to its seventh Starship launch, marking another step in its ambitious plans for space exploration. Over the past week, the company completed critical tests on both the Starship upper stage and the Super Heavy booster, laying the groundwork for a launch tentatively set for January 11, 2025. On December 15th, SpaceX test-fired the upper stage of the Starship Flight 7 at its Starbase facility in South Texas. During this test, all six Raptor engines of the upper stage ignited for about 10 seconds. Two days later, SpaceX conducted another test, this time focusing on a single engine. This second test simulated the conditions of an in-space engine burn, an essential maneuver for missions beyond Earth. The lower stage of the rocket, called the Super Heavy Booster, also underwent rigorous testing. All 33 Raptor engines fired simultaneously during a static fire test, generating over 7,000 tons of thrust. This test validated the booster's performance and demonstrated its readiness for the upcoming flight. SpaceX shared footage of these tests on social media, capturing the raw power of the engines and providing a glimpse of the preparations for Flight 7. The upcoming Flight 7 received a significant green light on December 17th when the Federal Aviation Administration issued a launch license. This approval ensures that SpaceX can proceed with the mission, pending final preparations. Kevin B. Coleman, the FAA Associate Administrator for Commercial Space Transportation, emphasize the agency's commitment to supporting the growing commercial space industry while maintaining safety. Elon Musk confirmed that preparations are on track. With the tests completed and the license secured, the focus now shifts to finalizing the rocket for its next mission. NASA is also preparing to observe the flight, with plans to use a Gulfstream 5 jet for data collection. In a recent update, Elon Musk shared key improvements for the latest version of SpaceX's Starship, described as lighter, easier to manufacture, and less susceptible to high heating. These changes mark a crucial step in the spacecraft's evolution. The new upgrades aim to improve performance and reliability, 
critical for withstanding the challenges of space travel. The upcoming test flight will showcase redesigned forward flaps, expanded propellant tanks, and advanced thermal protection systems. These upgrades are designed to handle the intense heat and stress during re-entry, a vital phase during reusable spacecraft development. SpaceX also plans to continue testing ocean landings before attempting a bold maneuver, catching the Starship with a launch tower. This innovative step, if successful, would represent a major milestone in making space exploration more sustainable. SpaceX's efforts are capturing the attention of investors, with the company's valuation recently jumping to $350 billion from $210 billion. While still private, investment opportunities exist through options like Destiny Tech 100 Inc. and Kathy Wood's ARK Venture Fund. Each test flight brings humanity closer to making space exploration more accessible and sustainable, with the Starship leading the charge toward a reusable spacecraft system. Meanwhile, competition in the space industry is heating up. United Launch Alliance plans to upgrade its Vulcan rocket to challenge Starship in the low-Earth orbit satellite market. This move is driven by SpaceX's success in launching thousands of Starlink satellites and the growing demand for satellite networks. ULA is developing a Vulcan variant, optimized for LEO, exploring configurations like a Vulcan Heavy with additional boosters. ULA aims to complete this upgrade by the time Starship begins its satellite launches, which Musk has indicated may still be a year or more away. With Vulcan missions already booked to deploy Amazon's Kuiper satellites, ULA is under pressure to fly its rockets routinely. The Vulcan's initial launch price is approximately $110 million, slightly above SpaceX's Falcon 9, with around 70 missions already on its order book. Meanwhile, despite SpaceX's advances, challenges remain. During the Polaris Dawn mission in September, a power outage at SpaceX's California facility highlighted potential safety and regulatory issues. A leak in the cooling system caused a power surge, temporarily disrupting communication with the Dragon spacecraft. While the crew stayed safe thanks to Starlink's satellite network, the incident raised concerns about Mission Control's ability to handle emergencies. This event has reignited debates about transparency in private space operations. Critics argue that current U.S. laws that don't require private space companies to disclose such incidents hinder safety investigations. As Congress considers renewing the moratorium on mandatory disclosures, there's increasing pressure to prioritize safety and oversight in the growing commercial space industry. Despite these efforts, SpaceX's test-to-failure approach gives it an edge. Starship's development involves continuous upgrades and real-world testing, ensuring the design evolves rapidly. In contrast, competitors like ULA finalize designs before launching, which can slow innovation. With each test flight, SpaceX brings humanity closer to sustainable and affordable space travel. The recent improvements to Starship are more than technical milestones. They represent progress toward expanding human presence beyond Earth. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. This will help us to improve.